Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. So this little flamingo was suggested by Heidi and it's an easy one to do for my primaries, older ones as well. All right, let's get started. All right, you can make the flamingo with a longer neck if you, neck if you want. Um, so we're gonna start with the head. We're gonna start with a pencil. I'm gonna make a nice big circle up here with my pencil. And I'm going to give it the eye right off the bat. So let's make an oval. And we're going to put our eye looking right towards you. With a sparkle in the eye. And we're just going to very quickly color that in. I'm going to give it some eyelashes, lots of eyelashes. All right. Now we're going to make the beak. The beak is quite large on a flamingo. So we're not going to do this line here. We're going to come across and down like this. And I'm going to come down and make a nice big arc down. And I'm going to come back up and meet up with it at the bottom. And this part here is going to be black. We can do it with pencil crayon later and give it a nostril. All right. Now, Right here, we're not going to go all the way around. We're just going to do a little bit of the line there. And up here, we're going to come up. And I'm going to give this flamingo a couple little feathers up top, like that. All right. The next thing we're going to do is come down and give it a nice long neck. I'm going to stop right there for a second. And I'm going to continue my circle around but I'm going to come down and make my neck. I'm going to stop about there because I want to look at what's happening with the body. I'm going to switch over to a pencil. So I'm going to, where I stopped here, I'm going to make a nice big oval for the body, like so. And now what I can do, instead of doing this, this full line here, I'm going to come out about, well, about halfway maybe. And I'm going to come around to the top of the body here. I'm not going to go any farther. I'm going to do the bottom part of the body. All right. Now what I'd like to do now, instead of doing this circle here, I'm going to come up and go past my oval, and then I'm going to make a back little tail feather like that. So we have this oval here, but I've come out. All right, next thing I'm going to do is make the wings. I'm going to do a line here, follows the body, and I'm gonna hook up and around like that. And then I'm going to make another one that kind of follows the shape up here. And let's give it some kind of W or lines like that. All right. We're going to have a piece of where his legs come out here, just underneath. Now a flamingo, his legs go backwards. So we're gonna have this leg, and you can make them longer too if you want facing that direction. It's like an arrow. And then I'm going to give him a nice little foot. And a toe. This front leg is actually up in the air. So I'm going to come straight out of here. Whoops. I'm going to do a second one. And I'm going to come around and give him a foot. All right, let's take a look at our colored one. There we go. There's the colored one. I've done it pink. Flamingos are mostly pink. He's got a black little nose. I kind of did more of a fleshy type of color in here. Nice bright pink um, feet. 
This is an easy one for my primaries. Have fun with this and I like to see it on Messenger, Facebook and remind for my students. Thanks. Bye.